and uh, just, uh, just so you all know, more than uh, anything, you need to understand that there were no fireworks in Israel last night <clears throat> because of the crash of the helicopter of uh, President Raisi. No one fired fireworks in Israel. But do you know where fireworks were actually fired? Where fireworks were all over and people were cheering up? Do you know where? Iran. President Raisi was known as the Butcher from Tehran. That was his nickname. He killed tens of thousands of Iranians throughout the late 80s and the early 90s. Not for nothing, he was elected or chosen as president. Um, remember all the uh, all the uh, uprises uh, in Iran, and he was the hardliner that uh, the supreme leader preferred over the reformists. He died. I, I don't rejoice over his death, but I rejoice over the spare of life of so many. And I do believe that such evil murderers have either a chance to be born again or to die. And that was his choice. And I will tell you folks, now they're gonna blame Israel for sure. I, okay, watch this. Okay, are you ready for this? There was a joke running around in Israel that the name of the pilot who was a Mossad agent was helicopter from helicopter Hamas took it seriously and tweeted that and then Iranian channels retweeted that and then it was all over the Arab news across the world that a Mossad agent named Ellie copter was the pilot on behalf of the Mossad guys that's how much they want to blame us for what happened. And I'm telling you, uh, uh, okay, so I'm not going to say who did it because obviously what happened is that it was a crash on a side of a mountain in a very rainy, foggy, cold day in a very dangerous area, okay? You don't have to rush to any conclusion. Uh, flying helicopters such as that one, which is pretty old, a Bell 412, I think. Um, you know, it's a, it's high high chances that th something might happen when you fly a helicopter um, this um, in this terrain. Okay, but I will tell you, I will tell you that. Um, it doesn't matter if it's the weather or not. They will blame Israel because this is in their DNA. Everything bad that happens, it's our fault. Everything good that happens is their fault. They will rejoice over our death and blame us always for their death. This is who they are. That's what they do. So the pilot's name is not helicopter he's not a Mossad agent and remember the fireworks last night were not in Tel Aviv they were not in Jerusalem they were not in Haifa they were not in Tiberias they were all across Iran and the tens of thousands that were killed by this evil man were Iranians now, was Raisi a saint when it comes to Israel? No, he wanted our destruction. He financed all of the proxies all around us. He was rejoiced on October 7th. But he, he is now realizing there are no 72 virgins waiting. He is now realizing that um, things look different. I'm not even sure if it's up there. I'm pretty sure it's down there. But I will tell you this, the rush to blame Israel will always be there, not only by the Iranians, not only by the Hamas and their supporters, even by anti-Semites in America. You will see that 
I already saw it online. It's unbelievable. So let, let me make it very clear. The fireworks last night were not in Israel. They were in Iran. Draw your own conclusions. Have a great day.